What is going on today guys, Tomcat here and today we are back in spin tires covering another spin tires mod. Now this is a lifted diesel Chevy Suburban uh, Expedition vehicle and one of the first things you'll notice right off the bat is it has a ton of lights and the other thing that you'll be, probably be asking is do they all work? Yes they do. This thing at night is absolutely crazy. Now we don't need those lights in the daytime. Um, but if you actually, if this was, if this was actually at night, I would show you guys that because they are absolutely insane. Just the brightness is absolutely crazy. But as you can see, it's basically, um, it's basically your, it's not, I wouldn't say standard expedition vehicle, but it's definitely up there. It, it looks more like, more like an Arctic truck than, uh, than your standard, uh, kind of lifted off-roader. It's more of kind of in the Ar Arctic Icelandic trucks. Uh, style, but nonetheless, it makes a brilliant scout vehicle because it's got a ton of power, it's really quick, and it's brilliant at climbing stuff and getting over things. Now, it doesn't really have any customization options, nor does it have any trailer options, but that's fine because of the fact that it makes up for that in its scouting capability. It can, it can scout anywhere, anything, anywhere. You just, you want to, you want to go like discover stuff on the map. This is what you should use for it. Really, this is definitely on par with the Jeep that I tested last time, and I'm starting to like this actually uh, a little bit better than that Jeep, because it just seems a little bit more controllable. I don't know why it doesn't feel as top-heavy as the Jeep did, but it just seems to manage the overall weight of the vehicle better, uh, a lot better, in fact, than, the, than that Jeep actually did, which is kind of surprising, but when you consider that the Jeep was on, I believe it was on bigger tires, and I believe it was a little bit higher off the ground, However, if you actually look at this thing, you can see the detail in the suspension flex. I mean, right now, you can see the suspension working. You can see where it actually is. You can see where it's actually flexing. You can see the actual detail that went into that. And just the detail that was put into this particular mod and this particular vehicle is definitely up there with some of the best. And you wouldn't necessarily know that from just looking at the pictures on the forum. You, would, you have to actually download this thing because the, uh, to actually experience it because the pictures on the forum are just kind of okay. They don't really do this thing justice. But once you download it and actually, uh, actually uh, give it a run, it's definitely up there with some of the best off-roaders and definitely some of the best uh, scout vehicles that I've tested in the entire game. Now, I'm going to try and unlock a couple of cloaking points just as a test so I can show you guys the off-roading capability and scouting capability of this thing. And I believe we are going to be going up here and heading left. So as soon as we see that little, I don't know, cutout area in the road, we're going to head left. And yes, you can shift it into high, like, immediately, like, right off the... Well, I wouldn't say immediately, but pretty close to immediately. Or if you're in casual, you could just put it in auto mode and leave your diff lock and all-wheel drive on, which... I mean, it's okay, but if you're looking for the, uh, like, kind of the full-out experience of the vehicle, then you're definitely going to want to be using, uh, you're going to want to be using low range, and then shifting into high. It's, it's definitely a much more engaged experience that way. So, we're going the right way, so as long as we stay sort of straight, we should get to where we want to go. Through, ugh, okay, not a fan of, uh, not a fan of damage to the truck right now. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to kill it or, like, crash it or blow it up or anything. Now, do we have to cross that? Yes, we do. Okay, going around that edge is not a good idea. I was, I was thinking about trying it, and then I was like, you know what? That's that's just going to get this thing uh, rolled over in the river, and that is the worst uh, position to put this thing in. It's the worst position to put anything in, really. But, I mean, it deals with it just fine. It deals with the water just fine. It crawls up out of it just fine. It really has no issues with it. The only issue that this thing uh, will really give you is if you roll it over. And that's really... It, that's... That's more down to the driver, whether you roll it or not, than the vehicle. I mean, I understand some vehicles are top-heavy, but this, if you roll it, it's more... It's, it's a really easy vehicle to kind of feel what's going on with, so if you roll it, it's kind of more the driver's responsibility 
than the actual uh, just vehicle. So let's go ahead and we gotta head like literally directly to our right to get the next cloaking point. Uh, unfortunately, there's trees there. Now, I'm thinking that it should actually open up up here. Like, the, the terrain should just kind of open up. And there should be a little bit wider of an area. Ooh. Now, we should be heading in the right direction. If I check the map, eh, we're sort of heading in the right direction. As long as we get to where we're, uh get in a general direction of the cloaking points, you'll generally find them. And I just realized, there's an opportunity for me to test those headlights. So there you go. They are insane. They are absolutely insane. They are some of the best headlights I've ever tested uh, in spin tires. They... Not only are they some of the brightest, but they, um, they illuminate the most, uh, basically, uh, area in front of you that I've pretty much ever seen out of any set of headlights and spin tires, which is kind of nice because most of the headlights and spin tires only illuminate a small area, but these, no, nah, they're massive. Or at least the area that they cover is massive. Now, as far as, uh, I kind of have to, what, are you serious? I gotta go back? Well, not back, but kind of turn around. Check it again. Or I could just go down here and then head to the woods and see if I can find that other cloaking point. I mean, as you can see, I'm trying to take the most difficult routes possible uh, to these cloaking points. And that's so I can just show you, uh, show you guys, or continue to show you guys, that this thing literally does not care what you put it up against. You can put it up against pretty much anything, and it'll say, okay, and just deal with it. It has no... Um, it doesn't put any restrictions on itself, let's say that, or, or its abilities. It's just up to you. I mean, like I said, the, really the only, like, terrible thing you can do with this thing, like, your terrible situation you can get yourself into, is if you roll it. And if you roll it, it's... that That's when it's done for. But then again, that's kind of possible with every off-roader, so... Oh, crawl! There you go! Not bad. Just thought of that little test off the top of my head, and it definitely passed, that's for sure. See if we can fit it through here. Uh oh. There's a treat. Turn it a little bit. There we go. Eh, it's just too cramped in here. In this area of the woods anyway, just to get a uh to get a decent route out. I mean we've made it out, but definitely a more than a little bit tricky. Now, as far as actually getting across the river. I feel like this could be bad. I mean, I know we can just reset, but I also feel like this could be bad. It's already way underwater. I feel like I should try it, though. Alright, come on. Power! Oh, no way! No way! Are you serious? Wow, okay. Ended up making it out on the other side. That's sweet! Um, my overall opinion of this thing just went up even more, because I did not expect it to do that. I expected, uh, I expected that to drown the vehicle, and, the, and that we would have to respawn it to the garage. But, I was kind of wanting to respawn to the garage, to be honest, because I wanted to repair it and everything, but... We're kind of out in the middle of, well, not out in the middle of nowhere, but we're close to another cloaking area. So if we can just unlock that, then we'll be good to go. Am I going in the right direction for that? Yes, I am. Oh, this must be the lumber pickup area. Or one of them. Maybe not, I don't know. It's behind us. It was sort of behind us, anyway. It wasn't directly, but it was there. Should be down this little road. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's definitely down this little road. And also, keep in mind... We've been beating this thing up, and it's not even halfway damaged yet. It's not even all the way, like I said, to halfway damaged. So, it definitely... That's the other good thing about this thing, is that it will take an absolute beating uh, when you're trying to actually find things and unlock cloaking areas and everything. It will take an absolute beating, and it'll just keep going. I mean, it won't, it won't keep going forever, obviously, but it's definitely not a truck that, uh, that dies easily. 
stick it all the way up in auto mode and see if we can... Eh, where are we headed from here? Okay, I know exactly where I want to go, actually. Oh, come on, you dim-witted automatic gearbox. It's like it finally kicks in. It finally realizes what you want it to do. It takes it a little while, but once it realizes it, it goes. There's the main road. Okay. A little bit of two-wheel action. Not necessarily what I was going for, but it's still there. Now, oh, I forgot about this bridge, like, completely. Our objective sh not our objective, but, uh, the- uh-oh. Yeah, I've gone the complete wrong way. Fail. I gotta get back to that other area, because I want to unlock that cloaking point. The detail in the suspension, though, is what continues to amaze me about this truck, and just thinking about the amount of hours that- No, you don't! No, you don't! Not gonna let that happen. Not under any circumstances whatsoever. It is not gonna get caught on the bridge. The cloaking area is probably just slightly off the road. At least that's what it looks like from the map. Uh, it's slightly off the road somewhere. I'll get to where it is, and then I'll just try and follow that area, and, or follow the, um, the map to that area. And if I can't, like if it's blocked, then we'll just find another road. Nearly there. Disable the diff lock so we can get into fifth. Well, you're flying in fifth, that's for sure. Okay, so it's literally right to the uh, right, so it's directly to the right. So find your way through the woods and see where you end up, pretty much. This is sometimes more fun, though, than taking the roads. Especially if you take the roads all the time and you want a different, like, way of playing spin tires. Try and just go through the woods. It's actually really entertaining, and you end up finding other obstacles that you wouldn't have come across. So we've got almost all of that done, actually. And, I mean, there's three more, but I feel like you guys, you guys really, at this point, you guys probably really, really get the, uh, the point of this vehicle. And you get what it's capable of. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys with that, but definitely check this mod out. Link will be in the description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.